Welcome back to Shed Wars. Well, some of us are competing for the best looking shed and the best looking raised beds. I just have this little uh, sturder garden here. I'm going to do a show and tell of how the seeds look just as they come out of the ground. I have these sticks put around the bed because now this bed is out in the middle of the meadow and snowshoe hairs will be just running right on through. This is a deterrent for the hairs. Here we have our radishes. They're coming up nicely. Very fast growing, but I'm going to move down to Kohlrabi. Because as I was saying in the last Shed Wars video, um, the benefit of putting them in straight lines would be when they come up, you see a straight row of tiny seedlings that all look alike. You see? So now you know that this must be what you planted there. I have a picture of the radish just as they come out of the ground. see if I can give you a real close-up now of so those two little plants right there see how close I can go they are Swiss chard just coming out of the ground this one here still has the seed coat on top this one here this is what they call the seed leaves This little plant in behind here, that's a weed. It's actually <coughs> some kind of uh, coal crop seed, but it's not uh, the rutabaga, so it's a weed in that position. Coming here, you can see all these types of plants here. There's a row of them all the way along. That's our spinach. Now you'll have other weeds coming up, like this one. And you see it's got two long leaves. And it'll come up close to your row. So until you know what the plants look like as soon as they come up, well, is this your plant or is this the... Or is this a weed? So you have to wait for your row of actual plants to come up. And now you can tell the difference. So that's a weed. We can pull them up. We can just drop them right there and he'll wither now because his roots are taken out of the soil. Another weed right there. And then we have our second row of spinach running along here. This is our turnip. See, most of the ones are related to either the beets or the coal crops, and they look similar when they come up. They have this, it's two leaves really, but uh, lobed leaves, so it kind of looks like four. That will be your turnip and cabbage and radishes and the like. Here's our lettuce, prize it. Once again, you look, and there are some weeds that look like this when they come up, but look similar, I should say. But now we can see along in a straight row, all of the plants look like plants in a perfect straight row across the bed. Uh, there's no Jacob's cattle beans coming up yet, but I didn't expect them to be up yet anyway. This is the row where the cucumber bush crop are planted. And these are beets Detroit Dark Red. 
and we can go in and do a close-up on these because these are coming up so you have this little tiny guy right here you can see how big he is according to my finger as we go along you'll see some more and they are all the way along here in a straight line now we'll thin them out later but whether it be uh, next Sunday or the week after I don't know potatoes we didn't expect them to be up yet or the peas now the peas I think I see one coming yes so we have a pea coming up right there there's another one right there no sign of sunflowers yet but I'm going to go around because it looks like we might have a cucumber plant coming right there so we'll see that now when it gets up and gets its seed leaves open next week I'll show you whether or not that's a cucumber I thought I had a carrot planted in the new gardener's bed but apparently I didn't that's alright anyway because carrots can be one of those frustrating things for new gardeners one because they can take a long time to germinate and secondly uh, they are hard to get to germinate you have to have the ground kept moist pretty much 100% of the time now these they have is it going to focus? they have the first true leaves you see and they come up when you get over here they look like two little blades of grass even worse when they're just coming out of the ground I'm not seeing any just coming up yet but as we get along I've got spaces because uh, we've had some sunny days after I planted these and now I've got uh, inconsistent germination but that's what the carrots if you do plant carrots that's one right there what they'll look like this is in my second bed and you can see I planted these on uh, May the 24th so it's been 28 days they can take up to 21 days to germinate at the best of times so for a beginner gardener uh, they take a long time to germinate and then when they come up you can hardly see them if you have much of a weed pressure it, the weeds are growing up uh, faster than your carrots so this is the smallest carrot I could find looks like two little bits of grass so another thing I want to mention about the, your first showing of your crops sometimes when you're weeding you don't know what you're pulling up really now you see this plant here it's a perennial wildflower that's native to Ontario I really like it. I haven't seen it here in Newfoundland until it showed up right here. Which I'm thinking it must have come from a packet of wildflower seed that I had. Initially what happened was that I was weeding out this area and I came across this tiny weed. I said, that doesn't look like a plant that I recognize. I'm going to let that grow and see what it is and I was happy I did so because I like this flower and now I was weeding out again and 
I don't remember what it looked like, you see. But here we have four little seedlings that I don't recognize. And there's a couple right here as well. I'm hoping that that's the same plant. And when they get higher, I will uh, dig them up and transplant them. But right now, I don't know what they are, so I'm going to let them grow a bit until I'm sure that they are something that I either want to keep or I want to discard. So sometimes you'll do that. You're, uh, you'll see a weed, what you think might be a weed, but you don't know what it is, and it might be a good idea to let it grow a bit till you're sure of what that uh, plant is. So there you have it, that's your first look at your uh, crops as soon as they come out of the ground. Hope you enjoyed that. Hit the like button if you did. And if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.